everyone, this is Mary Blue Angel back with another part of Heartstrings. Um, last time we left off, um, what do, where did we look? We left off at a part where Zach is taking, uh, the main character to work. Uh, I'm assuming to just, like, learn more about the matchmaking business and kind of get more insights that might help with actually matching people up. Um, but yeah, we have this lovely background here, so it's quite fun. Um, I like that it gets a lot of light, the office. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. Today is a rest day, so I went with Zach to show me his office. I might even work here full time in the future, so I'm really looking forward to it. Another match, huh? I like your sweater. I you've worn this sweater before, sir. Yes, it's not every day we get lucky like this. Another match with connected red strings of fate are my next clients. And then, let's head on. Wait, Mr. Zack. It appears there's a mismatch between this couple. These two have a not-so-good history. The record says... The records say the guy has been arrested by the girl before. Huh? <laughs> That's concerning. Is it an enemies to lovers trope? How did you even get that information? Zach tend- oh, <clears throat> People tend to forget data privacy when doing social media. But indeed, this doesn't seem good. <clears throat> exactly! I had the same thought. Enemies can turn into lovers, right? But the problem is the timing. Is it really okay to interfere destiny like this? What do you think, Murray? I mean, I don't... I personally... Oh. I mean, if we interfere, it could be the case that they might get on a better footing. Oh, do you mean, like, interfere, like, we, should, we shouldn't let them meet? Or, like, interfere and let them meet? Or let Destiny handle it this time? Because if it's... If it's the case where we interfere and we don't let them meet, I don't think that's a good idea. Because they technically met on the app, or they would be matched on the app. So I feel like that is a let Destiny handle it this time option. I'm going to select that one. I think we should let Destiny handle it this time. We can't push a date if both parties don't want to. Fate will work out for them instead. I agree. We can't risk this. Plus, their last meeting was recent, so we can expect there's still bad blood between them. Okay, that's not what my option, I think, I thought was going to happen, but that's that's also fine. I'm glad Zach thinks that Marie is wise. That's very wise of you, Marie, despite knowing their fate. Thanks. So, since I'm free now... Boss, can I take a day off today? A day off? I'll be off now. I informed the head butler that I'll be leaving. I'm going to the orphanage today to visit Mother Dolores and some friends. You're going to the West Coast? Yeah, I'll come back. Don't worry. Who says I'm worrying? <laughs> that face says you're worrying. <laughs> <clears throat> Is that so? Just try not to miss me too much, then. Uh, wh what's with you? Stupid. That's my line. <laughs> huh? Zach's cell phone rang, and he picked up his call. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. West Coast, then. Okay. Bye. West Coast? It seems like I have business at the West Coast as well. Obviously, they were not gonna not go to the West Coast together. Whoa, really? I'll go get my car. Wait here. Okay. <clears throat> this is where I grew up. Good Shepherd Orphanage. I've been here before. Wait, really? Yeah. What? Have you been adopted here or something? Stupid. That's not it. Anyways, a woman is coming towards us. Mother Dolores! 
Mother's, Mother Dolores greeted us along with the other orphans. It's so nice of you to visit us again, Marie. Of course, Mother Dolores. I'm back. Hi, Mother. Mo Mother Dolores looks much younger than I expected her to be. <clears throat> I handed them snacks, to which the kids enjoyed eating after. Are you Marie's friend? Yes. Zach Gardner. Nice to finally meet the one who raised Marie. The pleasure is mine. She grew up along with the other kids here. I hope Marie doesn't cause any troubles in your mansion. Why would I cause trouble? Mother Dolores! Not at all. In fact, she's very reliable in many things. Then he looked at me. What's with that teasing look? Welcome, brother! Zack was approached by the kids. They sure do love visitors. This place could be a little lonely sometimes. Brother, do you know Sister Marie? Oh, this is a cute CG. Hmm, <laughs> look at the lighting. It's quite nice. And I like the kids' hair club here. With the hearts. Yes, I'm her friend, Zack. Brother Zack, will you please play with us? Sure, what are we playing? Zack seems fond of kids. I have never seen him having fun like this before. My, my chest tightened. I don't know why, but every time he smiles, it just does, it just does that. Can you visit us another time, brother? Of course. I'll bring some toys next time so we can play together. Zack, I bet you would be a loving father. These kids are too playful as usual. Yes. They miss having grown-ups here once in a while. So, Marie, tell me. Hmm? Yes, Mother Dolores? <laughs> Mother Dolores wants the hot goss. Wants the tea, understandably. Is he your boyfriend? Huh? What are you talking about? It, it's it's nothing like that, mother. Huh? I'm just his part-timer. I looked at her red strings of faith. Huh? Were there these few tangles before? Ah, they more un they're less tangled now. I thought there were a lot of them. Am I mistaken? Is that so? I'm betting on him, though. Mother Dolores is like, I've only, I haven't seen everyone, but I am betting on him. Mother Dolores knows best, Marie. Let her, let her be. Mother, that's just my boss. Yeah, yeah, of course. Still, I think you'll make a great couple. Mother! <laughs> Marie. Oh. Sorry, I thought it was Zach. <clears throat> I guess I'll just keep a... This voice. Lucas! It is you! Lucas is my childhood friend. We grew up in this orphanage together. Hi, Lucas! After we turned 18, we were given the decision to either leave and live independently, or work at the orphanage. He chose the latter. How are you? I'm fine. I'm a maid and a part-time matchmaker now. How about you? Good, as usual. I see you're still doing matchmaking, but becoming a maid, eh? Hey? I sure didn't see that coming. Care to share? Well, I just helped out this one guy who turned out to be hiring. I was broke at the moment, so I grabbed the opportunity. I see. And who's that guy? He then pointed to Zack, who's currently playing with the kids. Oh, that's Zack. He is my boss, both from the mansion and the matchmaking job I do. He runs a matchmaking software company. Is that so? He looks like he's about the same age as us. Huh. Really? He looks older, though. Come to think of it, I have no idea what his age is. This is important, crucial information. 
<laughs> I already, I already know, or at least I have my theory that Maria and Zach have already met, and it was here. And Lucas has probably already met Zach. But his uncle was the one who hired me. Zach also knows that I have a gift. Oh, that that's great. Someone knows about it other than me. At least he recognizes your ability, doesn't he? Lucas looks a little jealous. He's a little concerned. Yep, I was able to beat his logic. I was able to beat his logic out of it. <laughs> Good for you. How about the nightmares? Are you still having them? Yeah. For some reason, they've been occurring, reoccurring a lot lately. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll give you some chamomile later to help you with your sleep. Thanks, Lucas. Zack noticed us talking and came and introduced himself. Came to introduce himself. Mm. I'm Lucas. Thank you for taking care of Marie. No problem. The name's Zack. Lucas and I grew up in this orphanage. He is a close friend of mine. I see. A close friend, hey? Yes, a really close friend of Marie. I think Lucas is teasing him. Hmm. What's with this awkward situation? Anyways, Mother Dolores needs a hand in preparing the snacks for the kids. Zach, do what you want. I'll be back. You're leaving me here. You don't know how to cook. You can play with the kids if you want. It'll just be a moment. Fine. You too, Lucas. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> they just had awkward silence. She's still the same. The same kind and loving Marie everyone loves. Look at that blush. I know you're in it. Who are you connected to, Lucas? I'm sure that Marie knows this. She is indeed. Say, as her boss, if I pursue you, if I pursue her, would you mind it? <laughs> that would be a different story. <laughs> Why do you care? It doesn't matter if he's her boss. <laughs> I couldn't tell her before. She'd always talk about how she can see her red strings pointing to someone afar. Why would you bring that up, Lucas? I mean, I guess this is a good catalyst for, you know, having that discussion. She can see hers. Whether it's true or not, I don't care anymore. I won't let her go again this time. Uh, her smile, even her scars. I know all of it. And I love her despite of that her scars. Marie had gone through a lot when she was a child. She just got it worse than I did. Ugh. I see that she's still having nightmares until now. I wanted to let you know for Marie's sake. I see. I won't let- I won't tell you the details. I won't throw away our past just like that. But please, be easy with her. She's gone through a lot. I won't let her suffer alone. I assure you. Uh. <laughs> hmm? You piss me off. What? I noticed how you looked at us while we were talking. You were playing with the kids, yet you kept on stealing glances from her. So? You have feelings for her. So never mind my question earlier. I'll still pursue her whether you mind it or not. <laughs> we'll see about that. You two are so funny. <laughs> uh, sorry, Lucas. I don't think she's entertaining you as an option. I feel bad, but... Eh. Who knows? But seriously, matchmaking. What's wrong about that? I knew a guy who's also into matchmaking. You remind me of him. A soccer ball. 
a soccer ball rolls in. Why don't we settle this with a match? If I win... Why would you... Wait, Zach, why would you say that? She needs to tell you by herself. Why don't we settle this with a match? If I win, you tell me about Marie's past. Lucas is shocked like I am shocked. What? Nothing. You really just reminded me of him. Even the way you talk. Because it is him. You're stupid as ever. What? Just tell me when I win. And if I win, I won't bother you two. <laughs> what? what kind of proposition is this? You've got yourself a deal. Okay. We're back. Eh? Why are Zach and Lucas seriously playing soccer against each other? Score! Oh, man. Well, if they're having fun, I should let them be. Girl, they, they might be having some fun, but not really. She just saw them and didn't see it, say, question anything. Zach seems to be in a good mood, as he's still smiling since we left the orphanage. Someone's in a good mood today. Ugh. I thought you had business at the West Coast. I had my secretary settle it. Oh. And he still bothered going with me. Say, if you don't mind me asking, what happened to your parents? I see. Visiting the orphanage must have given him some curiosity. My mom had an illness. She died of a heart attack. And my dad... It's okay. He kills himself. Ugh. I'm sorry if I surprised you. No, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had to go through that. But I also heard a hint of it from Lucas. Oh. It's okay. The memories came back. When I was young, my father would always beat me when he was drunk. Mother would be the one to always protect me. They were soulmates. Yet, why were they like that? I was young, and I couldn't understand anything. I remember they had a big fight, and ever since then, I was treated like I was not his daughter. It was miserable, by, but I had mom. One day, I noticed my father's string broke. I ran to my parents' room, worried for what may happen. When I saw her, she was lying and didn't respond to my calls. I saw her strings. Her string was broken and fading. I didn't know the meaning of it before, as that was the first time I saw one. Father's string started to fade too for some reason. Ugh. I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. What happened? She had a heart attack while we were arguing. It's my fault. I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have been a bad husband. And a bad father. Dad. I'm sorry. For everything. And... For now. Dad! What are you doing? I'll be with you soon, Christine. Ooh. I was not expecting that. Dad? The neighbors heard the loud noise and called the police. Distant relatives were reluctant to take me in. So I surrendered myself in an orphanage, to an orphanage, and since then, that was the start of my new life. Okay. I'm fine now, though. Thanks to the people who've been with me at the orphanage. So, that's why you said the man was selfish. He might have been referring to the old woman who committed suicide. Yeah. You didn't deserve such a painful experience. That's why I decided I'll help people find their right match in order for them not to get hurt. Also, that's why... Hmm? 
treasure your father while he's still here. Parents might be unreasonable sometimes, but in the end, they're still your family. How did this become about me? Your father may have made mistakes before, but he's trying to change. Give him another chance, while you still have time. I'll think about it. Say, hmm? Do you remember anyone with the name Zeus? Uh? Why does it sound familiar? Oh, that's the name of a friend I met when I was young. He's a childhood friend. How did you know? <laughs> when I was young, I used to sneak out the orphanage with Lucas to play at the children's park. Oh my gosh, they're babies! I'm gonna toss this ball, alright? Go ahead! The ball went flying. Too high. I have to catch it. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah. Look out. Uh, ow. I bet that was Zach. Oh, no. I oh, literally? Oh, uh, literally? Like, the first CG with Zach earlier. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Well, I'm fine. I'm fine. Are you hurt? Uh. Uh. <laughs> this man. This man looks ethereal. Glad, glad to hear that. Um. How can a kid be this pretty? Um. Hello? Uh, I'm sorry. That was the first time I met Zeus. We didn't have the best encounter, but we had a good first impression from each for each other. We were playing catch. Want to join? I... I'm Marie. I'm Marie. This is Lucas, my best friend. What's your name? Zach Zeus. <laughs> nice to meet you, Zach Zeus. What a lame name. That's not very kind, Lucas. No, it's Zeus. Oh! <laughs> They're babies. We would always meet at the playground to play. Where are your parents? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Where are your parents, Zeus? Why are you always alone? I just sneak out of my home, and thankfully, no one really notices. What? Why? Uh, I just want to be away from my father. He doesn't care about me anyway. Uh. <laughs> Ever since mom died, he suddenly changed. He wasn't the same loving father I used to have. I know it's been tough when mom died. I know it's been tough since mom died. No one wants it to be. Zach. I'm sorry. It's okay. How about you two? Why do you always sneak out? There's no playground at the orphanage. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't worry. Even if you're not getting along with your dad, I'm sure you will. Someday. Thanks. And you're not alone in this life, too. How did you know? You have a red string of faith. Huh? It might take some time to meet your soulmate, but she definitely exists. So just wait. Wait, so Marie didn't know? Did your powers already happen? Or you, or you couldn't see his right now? I don't know. What are you talking about? Red strings of fate? Like, from the legends? Indeed. Believe me or not, I can see everyone's. Including yours. Were you just not thinking about it or caring because you're at the orphanage? That, like, this is your soulmate? That's impossible. I can also see mine, though it's pointing far away. Someday, I'll find the other end of this string. Oh, so the strings develop later on to him? And to the others? And 
maybe help others find theirs too. Uh, why would you go through all that trouble? Why, you say? Hmm. Because it's romantic, and you get to help others find their happiness too. Help others find happiness, huh? Then. Hmm? When we meet again, I'll help you out too. Really? We'll find ours and other people's red strings of faith. That way, everyone will not be lonely anymore. Won't they? That's great. Is that a promise then? Promise. Trying to get the right voice. Thank you, Zeus. Then I hugged um then I hugged him. Uh Whoa, Zeus. Whoa, what? You stay away from her. What? Zack, there you are. Uh. So you've been hanging out here every day, huh? Let's go home. Father. <clears throat> Father, I don't want to come with you. You should be studying instead of playing. I... Zeus's father dragged him away. Leave him alone. Marie. Don't get involved, young lady. He just said he... <clears throat> he just said he didn't want to, didn't he? Leave him be. Marie. Ugh. Don't worry about me. I'll keep our promise. Let's meet again someday. Zeus. See you again, Marie. Zeus! It's Zack, by the way. Not Zeus. Bye, Marie. Lucas. How can I forget such an important promise? After all these years, we met again. I've remembered the times when I tried to follow my red string of faith. I did try to look for you, but you were out of the orphanage back then. The time I got to the shore, wondering how far you might be. Zack, our strings didn't connect before, but that may be because it wasn't the right place and time. I'm sorry I didn't recognize you beforehand. Don't be. I should have told you. I'm sorry for keeping for keeping it a secret from you. I didn't want you to find out, to see me so messed up with my family, with myself. Zack, I'm so glad we met again, this time as the real you. Ugh. Who knew we'd still keep our promise despite not knowing each other? Oh my gosh, I'm blushing, it's okay. Yeah. I finally found you. Why would you lie about your name, though? In case anyone asked you. Oh, okay. Did Lucas know this? Of course. It's what made him give up. Give up what? Oh, right. You were playing football earlier, weren't you? I'm glad you also got to reunite. I'm sure he missed you. It seems so. Okay, wow. Well, we just had the whole little we met during childhood, and now we both are on the same page. And now remember each other from childhood. It's very nice. That is very cute. I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm curious how the, the rest of this will go with like the company, the matchmaking company. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I do like Zach. I mean, like, Zach, I do like. I like like that he's kind of growing on me. Just because, like, he's not as, like, cold and reserved as he initially is. Um, and it's a sweet story so far. So, I'm very happy that I'm able to play this. Um, I'm going to stop for today. Um, I'll be back soon with another part. But let me know if you're enjoying this and... What are your thoughts about the Zach route slash storyline? Um, I'd love to hear them. Any thoughts that you have. 
But yes, that is all for now. Have a good rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye!